Lone Kane here, and this is a drinking edition of Paper Sorcerer. This is episode 32. Let's see what's going on. Turns out we start out with two doors. Which door do we go through? Is it going to be immediately a fight? No, it's not immediately a fight. What about the other way? It looks like there's a lot to go over that way. Maybe this way we'll only have... Wow. There's actually area to go in both directions. That's absolutely terrifying. Well, whatever. I'll check this out. This door is sealed with some sort of magical force. Well, let's examine it. After a quick inspection, you notice a small indentation where the handle would be. Well, that's it? Okay. Alright, open. The force holding the door shut is powerful, and the door won't budge. Don't tell me what the indentation looks like. Uh, maybe it's... Oh, whatever. Thievery. The goblin looks at you and shakes his head. The goblin's been absolutely useless for thievery. Why'd they even bother having into the game if nothing can have its locks picked? Well, anyway, let's go find out what's over here. I get the feeling I can go through this wall. Nope. Well, anyway, let's check what's through here. This door is sealed with some sort of magical force. Is this going to be the same thing? Blah, 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 indication, whatever. All right. Can I open it? Powerful force and shake your head? Oh, wow, you did the exact same thing. What a surprise. Oh, lo and behold, the creativity. Anyway, let's get ourselves over here. Slowly walk across, because I'm sure that's a blast to watch people do. And this door just opens. And what is it open to? Another fucking door. What about this one? This one looks... Can I sneak around him? Nope. Looks like we're getting in a fight. All right, what do we got here? All right, troll. Oh, you're going to open with a bloodbath. I just don't know who it's going to be that you're opening with. Hunter A, Hunter B, and a dwarf. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go through with this one. I get the feeling that it won't take that long for me to take this down. So long as I have frost... No, not frostball. Abyssal frost? No. Oh, you're in ice storms. That's the one. Freeze everyone. Anyway. You know what? Do I really want... No, oh, wow. My guys are kind of weak. I didn't even realize that. Well, you know what? Can, should we open with a mass heal? Does any? Yeah, let's open with a mass heal. All right, heal up everybody, cultist. Bear trap. I don't like the sound of that. Well, I guess that means my sorcerer can't do anything next turn. He's bleeding. That's not good. I wonder if the cultist can do something about that. Thirteen damage. That's all you can do. I did like two hundred. There we go. Everybody's frozen. One of them's bleeding, and the sorcerer's hurt really bad. But let's just do normal attacks. I don't think this will be too big of a deal. Well, this guy's gonna do a soul steal as soon as I find it. Man, I have too many spells now. There's soul steal. We're gonna soul steal the dwarf though. The Minotaur on the... Oh, no, you can't do anything. Just attack the right... The Hunter A. Yeah. And Cultist? Oh, shit. Can you heal Bleed? You cannot heal Bleed. Do a quick heal on the Sorcerer, because that's not good. What a horrible way to start a fight. I'm bleeding out. And my Sorcerer died. Awesome. So you know what that means. After this fight, you guys are going to see me real quick run to the bed and take a nap. Oh, so much for that quick heal. I there's no way they're going to take me out. The only reason they took out the source my sorcerer is because he was already weakened. To think otherwise is absolutely ridiculous. Although to be honest, these are these uh hunters are taking a lot more damage or ha they have a lot more defense than I expect. They're doing a really good job at not dying. But they're all frozen, so they're all going to die pretty quickly anyway. Damage over time is the bane of all enemies in this game, it seems. Even the undead, because for some reason I can poison and bleed the undead. But yeah, we'll go ahead and poison Dwarf and just drop some regular attacks on everybody on the uh, Hunter A. Not everybody else, but everybody else is going to drop regular attacks on Hunter A. And hopefully, the poison will land, and it did. And the dwarf will get his ass kicked before we even have to worry about him. They're casting some defender level 3. Get some defense up. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, but I was taking a drink, but I was gonna say, if my cultist is doing 83 damage, that guy doesn't have much of a chance to live. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. I wanna take out the other hunter. Oh, I didn't realize that my minotaur was paralyzed. Oh, the perils of being out of my mind. Alright. Wow, the cultist has a lot of downs too, but I don't, I don't really care. Although this turn, we're gonna go ahead... Actually, what do we have? We have four energy? We could probably do a break, can't we? Yeah, let's do a break. Break the hunter. Minotaur, I guess you have to defend. And cultist? You are going to mend. Right? Is that what it's called? Mending, yes. Let's mend the minute you are. And still, come on, developer. Why does my sorcerer continue to bleed once he's dead? It makes a little bit more sense when corpses bleed in Darkest Dungeon, but in this game, it does nothing. Nothing. All right, charging fist, go. Since this guy's back, we'll do some brutal strike. Try and take finish off that hunter. And the cultist... You're gonna restore defense. That seems like the best idea right now. And he's still not dead. 75 isn't enough damage for my troll. 75 for my cultist, on the other hand, would be... Oh yeah, he's dead. Just like last time. So this fight is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but... He sh oh wow, he lived through that? He's not gonna live through this next onslaught, that's for sure. Although, I do have Bloodbath. I'm gonna bloodbath the dwarf. Oh. I guess I won't. <laughs> Just do normal attacks around the board. I can't I can't imagine this guy's gonna live much longer. Hell, bloodbath by itself might be enough to kill him. And it did. Didn't even get the bleed in. Well, we did, but it didn't matter. 779 gems, two scraps of leather, and 2370 experience gained. Sorcerer, ruinous blaze leveled up, I don't care. Brutal Strike leveled up, I don't care. Defensive Strike leveled up, I don't care. And Trick leveled Yeah, that trick is cool. Uh, regenerate, that's always good. And Martial Arts. Alright, what do we got in this room that was so damn special for that guy to be there? Uh, probably nothing. I'm guessing this is going to be some gems. Nope, it's a plate. It's a plate boot that's worthless, so I'll probably sell it. And it'll turn into... Ooh, Bearskin. What is Bearskin? 60 Defense, 6 Strength, and 50 HP? Is that... Well, let's find out. Is that a rune? Because that'd be a fucking impressive rune. Alright, it's definitely not a rune. And I guess I'll check... I would... It sounds like it would be a body for the puppet. But it's not. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, solid imbued body. You probably need to change it. Alright, so is that it? Oh, yeah. Got this. Adamantite Longsword, 67 to 129 damage. Holy shit. All right, where's my Skellington? He uses longswords. Yeah, that's a big difference. Going to 67 to 124... 120, 67 to 129 from 29 to 61. That's almost enough to make me want to bring my warrior back. But I do really like being able to heal myself. It's really nice. Well, anyway. I can't resist this. This looks like bullshit. But, it's not. Let's go through this next door. Door is sealed with some sort of magical force. Examine. Small and What are all these indentations? I have a spirit orb. Do I use the spirit orb? Do I do thievery? Spirit orb is the only thing I have, so let's find out. Insert the spirit orb into the indentation in the door. A bright flash of light, the door opens. So do I still have the spirit orb? Let's take a look at my items. Quest items. Well, wow, I have a lot of quest items. Too many to count. Oh, yep, I still have the spirit orb. So I'm guessing I can go through those other doors then too. Ooh, dark. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, hello, baby. Hi. I'm gonna suck you up, baby. Glowing ball of light hovers before you. Oh, look, whether or not I may be not a lost, may not, wow, I'm just going to start over. Okay, look, whether or not I may or may not be a lost spirit is relevant. The point is, before you can say anything more, the spirit is sucked into the Blackstone. I get the feeling that I'm the bad guy with this sucking into Blackstone things. 
I guess I'm supposed to be the bad guy anyway. You found one scroll of the cat. Don't care. Steals pocket watch. I want to steal pocket watch. It'd be, it'd be cool to have one of those. All right. I guess that's it for this area of the dungeon. Or the cell block, rather. So, let's go all the way back. Oh, that's not all the way back. This is all the way back. Jeez. You know, I'm going to go over this one first. Why? I don't know. I just feel like I should go over... Actually, you know what? I'm going this way. I don't... I didn't try going through this door. I forgot about that. So there's a fight. There's a fight to be had, huh? Might be fast forwarding through this one, because Lord knows you don't want to sit through that many. Yeah, these are the samurai guys. They take a little while. I'll be right back. <laughs> Wow, those samurai do a lot of damage, so yeah, we're going to be skipping through to back to that fight. Well, to the end of that fight. See you there. Holy shit, that dual samurai fight was actually really hard. He... they just decimated my party. Well, there's the exit. What's in here? Another fight? Come on, guys. Trying to actually play the game with people being able to watch other than just fast forwarding through everything. Alright, Spirit Orb. Let's go check out what's over here. Leather boots. Mountain chain. Adamanta chain mail. Wait, Adamant? Yeah, that's still crap in comparison. Alright, well, I guess I'll charge into this fight too, but I'm saving first because fuck's starting over. Alright, well, see what they got here. Oh, this will. This should actually be pretty quick. Let's. Eh, I'll still skip it. You're back. One thousand ten gems. That's actually a pretty decent haul compared to what I've seen, anyway. You found one intermediate night room through strengthened twenty-five defense, three thousand ninety. Blah blah blah. That was nothing compared to the freaking samurais. Anyway, let's see. An antique sword. So that's crap. Something about ten agility. I don't even care. Twenty-four gems and thirty-four gems. All right. Well, I guess that's it for this dungeon. Except that I gotta go back and look in those other two doors with the mystical orb. Yeah. Like, I would avoid those. Anyway. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm totally going the wrong way. And you go over this way. Hopefully there's not another fight. There usually isn't, but eh, there could be. Alright, use item. Let's see what the spirit orb does. Slips on in, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's gonna be a fight. Oh, thank God. There's not. Alright. Rabbit Mantle, 10 Agility, 12 of Defense, Elven Mace, 
42 to 75 damage. I think I do better than that already. The cultists, what do we got? All right, what do we have? Oh, we already have an element nice. Okay, just as close. Silver mirror, reinforced element plate, which is still not as good as the dark chain mail, and a silver monocle. Although, the elven plate can go on the skeleton. So, uh, that's where that's going to go. Reinforced steel, 132, that's the one. Alright, did I get everything? Yeah. Alright, what's in the next part? Got one more door to go through. Once we're through that door, we'll be able to not care anymore and get the hell out of this level. And then I think we might actually be... You don't have anything that would work here. Dungeon where the handle would be. What? Does that mean my magical orb is gone? It is. I guess I had to choose one door or the other. Well, that's weird. So I've gone through everything else. I guess I just can't go through that. I still wonder what the horse key and whatever the hell the other key was are for but yeah that's it for ep uh, what episode are we on again that's right we're on episode 32 that's it for episode 32 of paper sorcerer drunken rome let's go on up to the next level actually is there a fourth block are there normally no there's not it's binding so yeah i guess there's no way i can go in there and i have no idea what the horse keys do well let, let's take a look let's take a look uh, not usable items, quest items. Let's see. Red, 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 red feather, reaper stone. There were animal keys. It was like a horse key or something. Whatever. The keys that I found in the chests. I have no idea what I was supposed to do with those. But on the plus side, I did find the spirit, so maybe we'll do catacombs next time. I don't know. But in either case, that's it. Episode 32 is complete. Hopefully everything's still good for y'all. Enjoy!